What's going on, guys? It's your boy John, the Liquidator here, coming back with another video. Um, just coming to touch base with you guys about how my weekend went. So, I got good news, I got bad news about how the weekend went. Let me first off start by saying, check this out. All that furniture. Gone. Disappeared. But uh, this is all extra pieces here to uh, merchandise that's over here. Just extra pieces to stuff, like a lot of box one, box two. These are just empty picture boxes. This is all like furniture cushion. Like I said, I'm going to keep it raw. I'm going to keep it uncut for you guys. It's just a little pile of trash. I'll get that up before the day's out. But I really want to show you guys how the showroom turned out. So, you remember how I told you guys everything was slowly come, starting to come together? Let me cut some lights on for you guys. Let you guys check this out. And um, I'll tell you guys the good news and the bad news here in a second. But let me flip my camera around. Look at this. This is our showroom. Everything is slowly starting to come together. These are beds here that we still got to get assembled and put out along this wall. I'm gonna try my best to make them all fit in here. Got our statues, we got merchandise out on the floor right now. All our pictures are up on the wall. We got some more pictures coming in. That's why, like I tried to space everything out. Try to space those pictures out. Got our sign on the front door now. Let me cut some lights on, show you guys this room. You guys can see we got patio furniture out, office chairs. These are all our TV stands. So stuff is slowly, slowly starting to uh, pick up, slowly starting to come out or whatnot. And um, the main focus here is getting the store filled up to the best we can, but not having it look all cram like. To where like is like you can't walk type deal, but um, everything is coming together great. I had a vision for this uh, store here, and it's blowing my vision out the window. So let me cut on some more lights. This is our light room here. So what's in these boxes? These are all chandeliers and lights. All chandeliers and and lights. So. Um, we'll be setting this room up here, uh, hopefully before weeks out, but I just want you guys to see how everything is looking right now up to this point. Then I'll set my camera down and go over some more stuff with you guys for us, how the weekend went. Uh, we're getting everything assembled. How did I do it so fast? But yeah. As you guys could remember Friday, this whole place was empty. I had a ton of boxes back in back. So um, I'll let you guys know. I wish I could have logged it, guys. But unfortunately, I couldn't. Because we, like, I literally had about 200 pieces of furniture to get done. So um, I wish I could have logged it. But I just could not afford to pick up the camera, stop, set up stuff, edit, and all that stuff. And uh, do different takes, because anytime you're YouTubing, like, you might not get it right the first take. So everything you just said, you might have to say it over again. So I don't know if, like, a lot of people know that. But, uh, yeah, so, like, YouTubing is kind of like a job, I should say. Another little mini job. But um, I love what I do with the furniture on like another topic. Um, I love what I do for a living. I wouldn't change it for the world. And um, I would uh, want other people to get into liquidation. Let me set my camera down so I can let you guys know how the uh, weekend went. Oh. How the weekend went. Thank you to all my family. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna see this video. Thank you to my brother-in-law, my mother-in-law, my sister-in-law, my mom, my brother, my little sister, my little cousins, or whatnot, for coming in and helping me 
get this job done this past weekend. I cannot thank you guys enough. Thank you so much. And um, hopefully, um, is there a way I can pay you guys back? I will tremendously pay you guys back. But on another note, the bad news and the good news. Good news is, guys, we got everything assembled. We got pretty much half of the store filled up this past weekend. I was not planning on that to happen this past weekend. I just had enough help, and my mom came up with a great idea. Let's put everything out. Let's start staging stuff. Let's see how it's going to look. So we went forward, got it right on the first take. Boom, everything looked it great, looked it good, walking in, pictures up on the wall now, and stuff like that. So with moving forward, though, this video was not supposed to be display of the showroom. I know everybody heard me Friday say, hey, um, Monday's truck day. I've been preaching about truck day. Got terrible, terrible news about my delivery of the Wayfair truck load. I know everybody's been waiting to see it. Everybody's been waiting to see what's going to be on it. Horrible, horrible news. The logistic company dropped the ball and did not send the driver to pick up the truck this past weekend. This has never happened to me before. It ain't nobody but the devil at this point. But me, I'm a positive guy. I try to stay positive. So I'm going to remain positive through this whole situation. But um, we're not getting the truckload in until tomorrow or maybe Wednesday, which is going to completely mess up my deadline with getting my store opened up because we still got pieces on that very truck that need to get put out here on this floor. All of our couches is on there. Some more patios, furniture coming in. Beds coming in, entertainment center, console tables, a list of stuff I can keep naming. But, you know, that's how life is. You know, life will kick you in the butt when you're trying to do something, but you can't get discouraged. You know, I just want all my viewers to know, don't get discouraged when stuff don't go the way it was supposed to go as planned. Life happens Stuff happens. Don't beat yourself up about it. Don't get mad at other people about it. Just stay positive. That's, that's a big, strong key to being successful is staying positive through adversity, you know, because it's all about what you do through that adversity time to make you who you is and to build better character. So me, I just try to stay positive through it all and uh, just wait for the truck to come in. But that is the bad news, guys. No truck is coming in today. And um, for it's moving forward, though, turning the page on an, on another note, we do have an opening day. Our opening day will be August the 14th. August the 14th, 2021. I'll be vlogging the whole day. That'll be the grand opening, the ribbon cutting, the everything. And um, hopefully I get a lot of people. We'll be doing raffles, giving away furniture. Uh, we'll have food, beverages for uh, folks or, or uh, whatnot, so it should be a pretty fun day. I'll be vlogging the whole thing, and um, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I really don't have, like, a whole lot of stuff going on today because I'm kind of mad about the truck not coming in. Um, I'll be probably taking out trash today. The light guy came in. He didn't He didn't want to be filmed. I could have uh, vlogged that. He was trying to come in and put all new LED lights throughout the whole store. Or whatnot, but uh, that's pretty much it, guys. It's John the Liquidator here. Uh, I'm checking out with you guys. Please give a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, please, and share. You know, the best as the community grow, you know, I will be start doing giveaway. I'm a very giving person, and um, like if we can get this video to let's say 50 views, you know, what I'm saying I might give away like an Amazon gift card or something. You know, and uh, please make sure you guys comment down below and uh, just please share. You know, I want everybody to be successful and um, have a great day. Peace.